Hello again, I'm Blunty and I love my geek stuff, I love my nerd stuff, I love my technology, gadgets, gizmos, games, the whole schmear. And I love listening to podcasts about that kind of stuff. I listen to a lot of podcasts, I subscribe to a lot, but I only listen to podcasts when I'm on the move, when I'm wandering around, when I'm running errands, when I'm in town, when I'm shopping, because when I'm not wandering about outside, I'm doing other stuff, which means I can't listen to podcasts. I'm making or editing videos and you can't listen to podcasts when you're doing that because sound is so important and we'll get back to that in a moment moment or you know I'm, I'm watching TV or, or uh, visual media and I need to listen to the sound of that when I'm doing it whatever I'm doing when I'm not wondering about it usually precludes the ability to listen to podcasts because I need to focus on something else or listen to something else so I only listen to podcasts when I'm out and about with podcasts it's an audio medium you don't even have anything else to fall back on so the audio has to be good and this is my bugbear this is where I'm going to get slightly or moderately enraged most of the podcasts I listen to the the audio production is brilliant it's perfect it's fine but for CNET Australia's Pulse podcast a once a week news podcast where they talk about the biggest news of the week instead of have a bit of a back and forth discussion and get into some more detail and sort of have arguments or discussions about stuff that you can't get into in the text based articles that are on their website and I love listening to that sort of stuff especially because it's Australian and I've met a couple of the guys who, who, who regularly do the Pulse podcast for CNET Australia but the problem is whatever setup they're using in their recording studio. And I know they've got a dedicated recording studio because I know some other guys who record another podcast out of the same studio. Guys, learn to use an audio compressor because your levels are all over the place. And like I said before, I'm only listening to podcasts when I'm wandering around. And if I'm wandering around in the streets, there's traffic, there's noise, there's all sorts of stuff going on. And if your audio levels are all over the place, it's, 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 I miss stuff. I can't hear it. I have to rewind or just skip stuff altogether because sometimes the audio goes really quiet and, and sometimes it really peaks out and it's just impossible to listen to because either I turn it up far enough to listen to the quiet bits where your presenters are mumbling or just speaking in a low voice or something like that. Uh, then when they peak out, my ears bleed. The, the blood leaks from my ears and I have to just, I, I'm hemorrhaging goo from my ears because they peaked out and I had to turn it up because there's another low stuff. Or if I listen to it at a level where that high, where the, where the stuff that you peak out doesn't burst my eardrums in a cacophony of painful screeching, then I completely miss hearing all the stuff you mumble. Fix your podcast, guys. It's not acceptable to be having the levels all over the place like that, especially considering you're a professional podcast. You come out of the CNET offices for crying out loud. There are amateurs out there doing this stuff in their bedrooms that have better sounding podcasts than you guys. It's just not acceptable for you guys to just have this atrocious level of, of audio quality. And whatever mics you're using, they're not that good either because they, it's, it's just distortion and stuff from time to time as well. And it's ridiculous. You need to just, like, invite me into your studio. I will come in and I will teach you how to level your audio properly, run it through a level ladder, use a compressor, hardware, software, it doesn't matter, just get it done. Or just train your presenters in proper microphone technique so they're not right out of all over the place and it just drives me insane so CNET Australia with your Pulse podcast clean up your act because whoever's producing that podcast just he doesn't, doesn't deserve to be calling himself a tech nerd if he can't even work out how to correctly level a podcast how to just even it out how to run a compressor across it anything a levelator just 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 do it so I'm not ugh, my ears hurt or don't hear you and ah, it's just frustrating and the side lesson here to you YouTubers out there, you guys who are producing content, audio is so very important. If, you've, if you're using a webcam, fine. You know, webcams are low resolution stuff, they're grainy, they don't work very well in low light most often. That's all right. But if you use the onboard microphone, you get that weird hissing sound or you get that weird pulsing click or you're picking up noise from your computer's fan or something. Just get an external microphone. They don't have to cost, I mean, you can get just this little desk stand ones for like 20 bucks from Logitech or something like that and they'll work fine. They'll help you isolate all that background noise or just get a decent microphone like, you know, the one I'm using here. Ah! that one there and that's you know you're probably hearing all kinds of thuds and stuff because i'm handling the microphone which is bad microphone taking but I'm, I'm showing you what microphone i use and that one you know that's a few hundred dollars worth and i've got a pop screen on there and everything but anywhere in between just you know you can fix up your audio audio the most important thing about video i know it doesn't make immediate sense but trust me on this trust me on this even if your video looks horrible as long as your audio is nice and clear and at a decent level you're gonna be okay <sighs> I'm done. I'm, done. I'm all rented out for today. I'm getting all sweaty too. <sighs> Catch you next time. See you Australia Pulse Podcast. Fix your freaking audio! <sighs> Ty, I'll see you when I run into you next. 
Did I wink then? I don't think I winked. I'm too exhausted to wink. There you go.